Welcome everyone to a new special video that I go down memory lane to look at some of my and share some of my personal favorite spell cards of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh! We'll be looking at, of course, both magic and trap cards, like I said, strictly looking at my personal favorites. But first we'll look at magic cards. Enjoy in the background, I chose music, lo-fi mix of like Yu-Gi-Oh! music. So with that said, let's get to it. First up, of some of my personal favorite magic cards of all time. First is an equip card called Premature Burial. Now keep in mind, quite a few of these are ones you will have probably seen the show as. A lot of my personal favorites are older cards from the card game, and probably a good chunk of these have been banned from official tournaments. Next is a pretty awesome card called the Shrink card, which of course, in Season 1, Seto Kaiba was known for using it. A pretty good instant magic card. Now, another one of my personal favorite basic equip cards from the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Energy. Which, of course... It only worked, though, on Fiend-type monsters is the only unfortunate thing. The card increases your attack and defense by 300 points. Also, a pretty good instant card, Ring of Defense, which was known specifically for being used in Season 2, Battle City. Also, quite useful if your opponent is using... Using fusion monsters, defusion can be quite a useful little magic card to have. And the fact that you can use it as an instant, of course, you can use it on your opponent's turn. Another all-time classic, personal favorite of mine, is Ectoplasm. Which was specifically is one card I remember being used by a certain supposedly master of the Dark Magician, as well as used by Bakora and others as well, like Bones. Another one, more known for being used in Battle City, of course, Card of Safe Return, which is a continuous magic card. That can be quite useful at times. One of my personal favorites, at least of land cards. This would be one of my personal favorites. This was a card I used back when I used to, on occasion, play Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff. I used this in a Gravekeeper monster theme deck. And this was key to help power up all my Gravekeeper monsters. Now, another pretty nice little continuous magic card, one of my personal favorites, is Dark World Grimora. As during the end phase, if you discard monster cards to the graveyard because you had more than six cards in your hand, you can use Special Summon one of those monsters, thanks to this magic card. This was one specifically in that was used in Battle City, of course, that Merrick used against Yugi. Nightmare Steel Cage definitely has its uses. Probably one of the all-time classic magic cards, in my opinion. You can't beat is remove trap. Also, brain control is another good classic magic card. Change of heart. Which is best one remembered you being used by Bakora. Also, Pot of Greed, which was banned quite a few years ago from official tournaments. 
polymerization. Monster Reborn, which was, of course, banned a couple times. Another useful card, Return of the Doomed. Of course, probably one of the best well-remembered Swords of Revealing Light. The spell, a lot of these are only once usable, unfortunately. Of course, Dark Hole, which is a useful card. In certain circumstances, as is Soul Exchange. Tribute to the Doomed was another useful one to have. Sword and Shield, which I always found weird. The creature designed this as it kind of reminds me a little bit of War Greymon from Digimon, weirdly enough. Now, if you liked playing with dragons. There's a few specific spell cards like this that are quite useful for dragon decks. Rush recklessly can be quite useful in circumstances. Another good spell card to use in a dragon deck. As well as stamping destruction. If you like using dark time monsters, definitely mystic. Plasma Zone is quite useful. Final Destiny is also a pretty good card in certain circumstances. Probably a classic just to help bump up your health, bread, and medicine. The Dark Door can be quite useful also in circumstances. Now, if you have a deck with a lot of fusion, this is a good field card to have. Fusion Gate is definitely very useful. Cost Down is also very useful to have in your deck as well. Ring of Magnetism, which is good, and you want to use strictly on monsters with a very strong defense. Horn of the Unicorn, which can come in quite handy at times as well as Black Pendant, Final Flame, which is also a classic, Giant Trune. One of the more recent cards that I've come to really like is Card Trader, can be quite useful. The Mask of Remnants, which of course you would attach to your Mass Beast Discardius monster. Of course, if you were into using harp, harpies and stuff, Feather Duster has always been useful. Some are pretty good and useful cards. Flash Fusion can be quite useful. A good one to have in your dragon deck. The Flute of Summoning Dragon, but only if you also have Lord of D. Some are really good ones I recommend. Inferno, Reckless Summon. Paintful Choice can be useful, as can Graceful Charity. This is probably one of the more interesting and useful cards in Circumstances. Dark Contract with the Swamp King, a continuous magic card. Now, if you're interested in using like God or Divine Beast creatures, Soul Crossing is useful, as is Thunder Force Attack. Fist of Fate. Now, for equipment to do some good stuff, Lucky Iron Axe is useful. As is this little card can be useful in type spot. Also, Dark Magic Curtain, and one of the my personal all-time favorites. Phil card, the Seal of Ori Kalkos. Which was specifically, of course, the signature card in Season 4. Some of my personal favorite, at least on the trap side of things. Negate attack can be quite useful in a tight spot. As is Dust Tornado. Spirit Barrier It's definitely can be quite useful in some specific types of decks. Of course a good one use is trap hole. Also 
Mask of Weakness can be useful in certain situations. A good, also useful classic card, Just Desserts, which is one of my all-time favorites. Another good one. And of course, this one is probably best well-known used by Mako Tsunami. Torrential Tribute, which is a classic. Another really good one is Bottomless Trap Hole. Of course, Mirror Force, an all-time classic. Also, Grave Robber, which is quite useful in tight spot. Dark Spirit of the Silent, an all-time classic by used by Bakora. Chain Destruction. Metal Reflect Slime, which was best well known being used by Merrick. Also, Mask of Restrict. Solomon Wishes is very good. Curse of Royal is a good turnaround trap card. Spellbinding Circle, one of the classics. Shadow Spell is also quite good. Magic Jammer is also good for a tight spot. Dark Illusion is another one I recommend checking out. Life Force Swords as well. Another one classic known specifically used in Battle City. An interesting bit newer card that is quite useful is Tower of Babel. Also, Judgment of the Desert. Robin Goblin can be quite useful in certain circumstances. Ordeal of the Traveler. A good one for dragons. Dragon's Rage. As is also the trap card. The Dragon's Bead. Skull Invitation. Definitely is quite good to have at times. Of course, Magic Cylinder is also very good dealing with some monsters. This is probably one of, I think, the maybe somewhat more underrated trap cards as it has two different ways you can use it. Also, if you want to use Divine Beast, Ultimate Divine Beast is a very good trap card to have. Griffin's Wing is only good if you're facing somebody that likes using Harpy cards. Royal Decree, which can be quite good to use as a continuous trap. Imperial Order can be good at times. This is one of my favorites, probably of more recent. Also, Seven Tools of the Bandit. Second to last, Widespread Ruin is pretty awesome. And last but not least, is the Pyramid of Light, which is one you got in a special when you saw the original Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. But that is it. That is just that is some of my personal favorites of spell cards and stuff of the Yu-Gi-Oh! card series. So, seriously, check out some of these. They can be quite useful. Depending on the type of deck you want to use, though, keep in mind. With that said, stay safe out there.